hey guys it's Jacqueline welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video I am so excited to be making this video today because this is a different part of my life that I wanted to share and I feel like it's super important to make some of these videos so we can look back at them one day and just you know reminisce on some of the great times that we've had. Today is going to be a nursing haul and um, just some information about the program as well in case any of you guys want to know that info. So I'm going to start off today's video with that information first. If you guys are just looking to look at the nursing stuff, just fast forward into the nursing haul portion and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. So just a brief bit of information about the program and myself, if you guys are interested. Um, so basically this is my second degree. I just graduated from McMaster University and doing my bachelor's of science um, and specializing in, in origins of disease. I decided to continue my education by doing a second degree in nursing. This is an accelerated version of um, your regular nursing program. So. It basically condenses the four years of nursing school that you normally would do into 20 months. And you basically go through schooling, through clinicals, and by the end of it, you are required to take a board exam um, with the certified Ontario's Certified Board of Nursing. I forgot exactly what it's called, but basically if you pass or when you pass, um, you become a registered nurse. So that is basically my plan. Um, once I do become a registered nurse, I am planning on doing two years of work to gain some experience and then I am going to be doing my master's in pediatric nursing or family medicine nursing. I'm not exactly sure yet. I'm leaning towards the pediatrics because I love kids, um, I love babies and basically once I've done my master's you can become an advanced practice nursing a nurse and that is basically a nurse practitioner um, and that is basically my goal and um, so yeah I'm gonna manifest this here so I'll be back in four years from now and hopefully I'll be an NP. To give you guys some more information about the program, McMaster offers a accelerated nursing program which is again 20 months instead of the four years that you would be doing or two years and four months and basically it condenses the entire program by the end of it you can be a registered nurse so long as you pass the certified board exam you do learning for two semesters i believe and then you do clinicals and again some more learning and clinicals um it is a straight five semesters of school um and there are no breaks as you normally would get with a bachelor's of nursing in a four-year program so if you are looking to apply to this program, you do need to have completed at least two years of university. So you would be applying your third, fourth, or fifth year wherever you are in school, so long as you've passed two years. Um, you also are required to complete a few courses as well as maintain at least a cumulative B or B minus average, I can't exactly remember. Um, when you are applying, however, try to keep your GPA as high as possible um, on top of doing a CASPER test, which is a critical thinking um, ethics type of test um, that you have to do for McMaster University. I'm not entirely sure about other schools, but those are the few requirements that are expected of you to get into the program. And yeah, that is basically all the information I have for that, um, but I hope that was somewhat useful for you guys. If you have any more questions, just keep them in the comments down below and I will try my best to answer them. Um, without further ado, let's get into the haul because that is going to be the exciting part. Okay, so as you can see, I am currently dressed in these scrubs. As you can see, they are quite comfortable actually. Um, this is the re required scrub that I needed to get for the program. Um, and this is an ocean blue color. They have so many pockets everywhere, which I love. There's some for pens here. You got some on the... Uh, I didn't expect that. Well, um, they come with pockets everywhere, which I absolutely love. I got the top in an extra small and the bottoms in an extra small as well. I wish I'd got this in an extra, extra small. I'll have a video here for you guys to kind of see the full length of it, but um, this shirt is huge. This is a unisex shirt and bottom, um, and I should have gotten a smaller 
top because it's literally so big it's so long it literally goes halfway past my thigh <laughs> I am a small person though so that's probably it but um, luckily uh, my grandma hemmed into the bottoms for me because they were literally this long past my foot so yeah they are however very comfortable and that is probably really important but yeah that is what they look like I hope that gives you guys kind of a reference of what they look like but I absolutely love them and I'm so excited about them then the next few things that I had to purchase was a level one two and three nursing kit um, to go along with the semesters um, I decided to just get the level one kit first because I just wanted to get those first mainly because the whole kit cost $350 and I wasn't I didn't really want to spend that yet anyways the next thing um, that comes in the box or what you need to buy in the level one kit is the Lipman class 3 stethoscope I was so excited when I got this in the mail um, but basically I got the seal blue tubes this is the size small I swear I ordered a navy blue one but you know what girl got a nice baby blue one instead <laughs> and I'm pretty happy with it look how pretty this is it's kind of like a metallic baby blue color guys look at this this is so cool I feel so official but basically this is what it looks like um, and yeah I practiced with this on my entire family already but um, yeah, that is what the, this looks like. Um, look forward to getting one of these if you guys do end up choosing. So in addition to the stethoscope, you, that was a weird sound. You also have to get an aneroid, uh, sigmometer. Um, that also comes in the kit. It comes in this little pouch. Um, and this is basically a manual blood pressure cuff that you can, uh, used to measure your patient's blood pressure. I'm not going to take this apart because it took me forever to put it back in But it comes with the pressure um, Counter and of course the manual pump the tubes and of course this that will wrap around your patient's arm And that is super cool um, with the other additional kits. You also get a whole bunch of other medical supplies and um, to practice on not to use um, and a pen light which I don't have with me, but I will eventually get in addition to the medical tools, it also comes with a, a mask, two pairs of gloves, and a gown because of COVID, I believe. So that is what comes in there. I don't think it would normally come with it, but those are the few things that come in the level one kit. The level two and three kit, again, come with the pen light and a whole bunch. It's a list of different medical supplies that you would normally be using as a nurse. The next few things are basically things that I use for school in terms of learning. Uh, again, I've already done my undergrad, so I have a good gist of what I need to do for studying and my own study habits and more, what best works for me. So the first thing is obviously a laptop. I'm not going to show my laptop mainly because it's all the way over there and I don't want to get up and get it. But basically for any schooling, it's super important to have that to take notes with. On top of that, I basically also have an iPad. Um, I find it's really important to have something to take notes on. Sometimes I won't always have a piece of paper and a pen to have to take notes on, to draw diagrams, and you can't really do that on a laptop. So I do have an iPad where I can take my notes on and it's really good for on the go to read your notes, etc. The next thing I got is a kind of an agenda or journal. I have tried so many times to use an agenda and it never ever works because I don't use it. I just end up making a list of things I need to do and make little notes on sticky notes and just stick them everywhere. And basically I opted for a journal this year. This is basically what it looks like on the inside. Um, it says thoughts and ideas on it and it has this really cool like watercolor paint thingy on there and that's basically what it looks like and that's what I'm going to be using to keep track of what I uh, need to do for school. On top of that I also have this little sticky note pad that I got from uh, my friend Kobika, so shout out to you girl. I got this for Christmas or my birthday but basically it has a whole bunch of sticky notes on it that I can keep track of, put it inside my journal wherever it is and it also has a nice little um, today's list thingy on it as well um, and 
some really cute other sticky notes that you can put on there. And that is from Indigo, in case any of you guys wanted to get that. I also have these pens that I got um, to color coat my notes with. It's always good to color coat your notes if you're that type of person. It helps to make your notes stand out and just have those key informations that you might want to, I don't know, highlight and make sure that you guys are aware of. And yeah, those are basically all of the things that I have for my online nursing school stuff. Um, this year is going to be a little bit different because of COVID, but that's okay. Um, I think it'll be nice to kind of slowly ease into it and also have kind of a break from having to go to school. I can literally sit in my PJs and, you know, study and go to class. So that is super exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. Um, and kind of exciting for any of you guys who are looking into getting into a nursing program. It's kind of insight on what you might experience, um, things you might want to buy later on when you get there. And yeah, those are a few things that I've purchased so far just for school. Um, at the moment, I do have a backpack that I'm just going to use. It's a good old Herschel bag. Um, I did not purchase any specific uh, bags since for nursing school yet or for nursing in general but those videos are to come i hope you guys enjoy this video once again um, are excited and um, are a little bit more informed about the program and i will see you guys in future nursing videos um, to share with you guys my journey jacqueline's nursing journey basically um, i will see you guys in my other videos bye